hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part 8 of our php restful api tutorial and in this video guys we're going to discuss the update so basically we're just going to add the update function or feature it into our php restful uh, api project so we have here the create function as you can see from our post.php file and then uh, we're going to copy the whole function because the idea of create and update is almost the same so we're just going to copy all this uh, included in this particular create function and then right below that we can paste the update so we're just going to uh, name our function into update okay so this is the update post function okay and of course the query will be a bit different because we're updating a record now so we'll just say update this table and set all the necessary attributes so for example the title the body the author and of course the category id and since we're updating a record we need to set the id or like filter by id because we don't want to update all the records so for now let's just say where id equals we can use the question mark or we can also use the placeholder colon id and of course we can also do the cleaning of data of the id so instead of category id and also here we're just going to say id and then indent this to align with the other attributes okay and then of course we need to bind the param the parameter so we're using the id as placeholder for our id and the value will be this and then id and then it should um, also execute the query and then return true if the query is successful otherwise print uh, the error message and of course return false so in our project we need to create another create another file for our api so we have already create that php also the read underscore single that php and then read that php so now we need to add another one for our update so that will be update that php and of course as a as a sort of basis for for this update that php we can just copy all the uh, lines of codes that we have added in our create.php and then paste it in our update.php because I, as i've said the logic behind or the theory behind the create and update is almost the same okay so but instead of using post it should be put okay and then uh we also need to have the id here so post title and then the id because we're specifying the id of the post or the record that we want to update and of course instead of using create we should call the method update and of course it should be post updated and post not updated okay so I, so i think that's all there is to it for this uh, update.php file so let's try that in our postman software so we have here the create.php so we're going to use update.php and then specify the uh, id of the record that we want to update so id and then colon 
and then let's try uh let's try to see which uh post or record that we want to update so we have added this sample api post by using our create.php file right before or from the previous video so the id of this is five so let's just use that so id is five five and then let's just say updated updated uh, api post sample body of an api sample body of an updated updated api post from a request so we have the same author category id and also uh, the ID that we're going to specify or update. And of course, because in our uh, update.php, we specify that it should be a put method. So of course, we need to use that in our um, postman in order for us to properly update the data. Okay, so send. And let's try that and the record or the response says that the post has been updated so let's try to read all the data so as you can see here we have uh, updated the title and of course we have updated the uh, body of our post so as you can see the update function or the update feature of our uh, PHP REST or the PHP API that we are developing is working. So the next step is to create another one or another feature. We will be adding another feature into our uh, PHP REST API. So basically we all have the reading of all the data, reading of a single data or single record. And then also we have creating a record and also the updates so the last one will be the delete of a certain record okay so basically the same idea we will be adding the uh, function here for our delete so that will be delete or public function um, delete it should be an easy function right here so right below the update function, we will have to uh, add the delete function. So that's public uh, function and then delete. Okay. And we just need to create the query here. So that will be query. And then of course, uh, delete from and then this table and of course where id we need to specify the id of the record that we want to delete and then we need to say uh, we are preparing the statement prepare statement so stmt and using the connection oh, prepare so query and of course we need to clean clean the data so we can just copy the uh, this particular line so clean data and yeah id and of course we need to bind the parameter so stmt and then bind parameter specify the id and of course the actual value and we're going to execute the query the same thing here so just like that so basically we're just returning true if the statement has been successful 
otherwise we need to print the error and return false so i think that's all there is to it for this video and in the next video guys i'm, I'm going to continue uh, working on with this delete and we're going to add another file for our api to actually delete the files or actually delete the record from our database so thank you for watching and see you in the next video thanks